Hi guys, Max from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, today I'm going to show you how to unroot your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. I know some of you are having trouble with root and didn't know how to get it back, but uh, with the stock firmware, you can pretty much turn any of your um, brick devices or anything you want to just bring it back to stock. Um, you can go ahead and use the stock for All right, this is straightforward. A lot of you already know how to do this, but let me go ahead and go over it for everybody um, who's new to this. All right, so the first thing you want to do is power off your phone. All right, also, you'll want to check your model number. Sort of hard to see, uh, but mine is SMG950FD. Uh, now, anything that ends in D is a dual SIM model. Uh, all the dual sim model FD are compatible, fully compatible with F, so you don't really have to worry about the extra D. Make note of your model number. My model number is SMG950FD, so I'm gonna go ahead and search stock ROMs for that. Next, you're gonna go ahead and put it into download mode. So go ahead and hold down volume down, big speed, and the power in that order. And when this warning screen comes up, simply hit volume up and you're gonna connect it to your computer via USB cable. All right, you'll need a couple things. Um, go to galaxysaroot.com and, and if you're installing for S8, go to S8 stock firmers. If you're installing for S8 Plus, go to S8 Plus stock firmers. If you go to this page, it has all this stuff you need, um, at least the links. All right, for example, I've got SMG950FD. So I'm gonna click here, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and download it from uh, sammobile.com. All right, go ahead and download the appropriate uh, country for your international model, if you're using international model. Um, if you're downloading, for example, T-Mobile, you can go, go ahead and simply download this. All the download links are at the bottom. Look for click here to download. All right, that's actually not my firmware, but I'm just showing you. Um, as far as sammobile.com, their downloads are very, very, very slow. Um, you may have to sign up for their membership to get it on time. Or um, just, just take a whole day and it will probably download. All right, if you have an international model G950F or if you have the uh, SA Plus 955F or FD, um, they're actually all compatible. For example, if I had a Mexican Galaxy S8 G950F and this firmware wasn't available, I could install um, Peruvian, Romanian. Um, so yeah, if you don't really need that country, for example, I live in the US, I don't really care which country it goes because all the firmwares come with all the languages. Um, I'm simply gonna go ahead and download, I think I downloaded the UK one. So go ahead and download the firmware for your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. All right, and also go ahead and download Odin and also go ahead and download Samsung USB drivers. All right, um, go ahead and unzip the, uh, go ahead and extract all files of your stock firmware. This is for my S8 SMG950F. All right, uh, when you extract it, you get a folder with all the firmware files you need. Also go ahead and unzip Odin 3 blah blah dot zip you'll get a folder called odin with two files all right go ahead and double click on odin 3 exe program and if you see a blue highlighted box like this you're good to go if you don't see this um go ahead and run the samsung usb driver this is driver for the s8 and s8 plus for your windows all right once that's done uh, we're gonna go ahead and click on bl and go into the firmware folder and we're gonna go ahead and choose the file beginning in BL. This is the bootloader. All right, we're gonna also choose AP and choose the file starting with AP. Now installing stock firmware may erase everything on your phone. Um, so just be aware of that, make a backup of everything. All right, once that's done, go ahead and choose CP and you're gonna go ahead and choose the file beginning in CP. All right, I don't usually bother with CSC. Um, CSC, you don't have to really bother, but you can go ahead and choose CSC here. Uh, but I don't actually recommend using it because a lot of times your CSC shouldn't change. So I don't actually recommend messing with this, all right? Just mess with these three and you should be good to go. 
Uh, when that's all done, simply hit start. And when that's done, you should be completely back on stock firmware. I'm going to simply go ahead and select power to reboot system now. And crossing my fingers that did the job. So let's find out. All right. Um, if you got to the welcome screen, you should be good to go. You should be on completely stock. And that's how you can unroute, uh, restore stock firmware on your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus if something goes wrong. Anyway, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Be sure to check out the S8 ROM I just posted on my main channel over at Max Lee. I should be checking out a couple more ROMs, so stay tuned for that. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.